All right, now on Goodluck application, we have got a module called Game Booster Plus. And the Goodluck team has released a brand new update for this module, which adds a new feature. In today's video, we are going to take a look at that. But before we go ahead, if you love this home screen wallpaper, this is available on the Volvo's application. This is under the category landscape. You can go ahead and check it out. There are some beautiful landscape wallpapers under that category. And we have also recently added a brand new category, and that is called Surreal. If you're interested, do go ahead and check it out. The download link is in the description. Now let's go ahead. Let me first open the Galaxy Store here and let's check out the update details. As you can see, it says One UI 8 version is 2.0.00.13. And in the change log, it says changed game category, change non-game app to game, which means we can now change the non-game application to game using Game Booster setting. And we also have this new feature, Add Aim Assist Menu. I'm going to demonstrate and show you guys how this works. Uh, let's look at the uh, update date here, 20th August, and the size is about 8.69 MB. Now, basically, this module enables us to further tweak the gaming settings. We can do the game key remapping. We can uh, change the GPU settings, change the game category, etc. All this can be done on the Game Booster uh, module. Let me go ahead and open this. Here you go. We've got these four options right here, and the brand new option is Aim Assist. Now what this does is it will show a reticle on the game screen. If you're playing games like PUBG, the aim assist will help you in shooting. Let me open this particular option here. As you can see, it says shows a reticle on the game screen may not function properly if the game is not in full screen mode. So you need to make sure you enable this feature for full screen mode. And as you can see, I have got a couple of games installed on my phone. I'm not a gamer. Uh, so just for testing, I have installed these games here. I've got Battlegrounds India, which is nothing but PUBG worldwide. And I have enabled this specific setting here. And we will be able to further customize this reticle. Let me tap on reticle settings here. As you can see, we get a full screen preview here. We've got this plus mark over here. This is the target point, and this will be available on the screen when you're playing the game. Now let me just show you the full screen preview here. As you can see on the screen, we have got this plus mark right here. This is called reticle. Now this, is, this will be available on any game that you play if it is added on the Game Booster setting plus. Let me go back here. We also have options to change the shapes. We can have different shapes here. We've got dot. Uh, we have got these target options. We have got circle, circle with, with a dot, and we have got a couple of more options here. And we can also change the size here. As you can see, the size is changing over here, and we can also increase the thickness as well. Let me just scroll down here and increase the thickness. Here we go. We can increase the thickness and size. We can also change the color if you want. Uh, it's always better to keep it uh, small and thinner. So that is going to uh, be nice on the screen while we play the game. It should not become a distraction. So you can customize it by using these menu options and change the color as well. And in addition to this, we also have opacity option here. If you want to uh, reduce the opacity of this particular reticle, you can do that as well using this particular slider. Now let me show you how this looks on the game. Let's go ahead and open PUBG. You can already see the reticle is right over here at the center and it will always remain there when you activate the game. And here we go. You can see this reticle right here. Uh, the target option is here and it is very easy to target and shoot. You don't really have to go for the uh, reticle option on the screen. Uh, by default, you will get this option and it's very easy to shoot. Now, the next option is game category settings. You can change an app to a game or game to an application. What this means is inside the gaming hub, let me open gaming hub here. And here you can see the list of applications. Let me tap on this. Now, this is where those applications, the games will show up right here. Now, for example, just for the sake of this video, I have turned on Amazon as game and that is showing up right here. Now, let me go back here to Game Booster Plus and tap on game category settings. And here, as you can see, I have enabled Amazon. If I disable this, it will uh, it will not be available here on the Gaming Hub. Let me just close this and reopen this Gaming Hub. And here you go. We do not have Amazon here after we disabled that option. Likewise, we can turn any application into game and put it in Gaming Hub. And if you don't want an application to show up on Gaming Hub, you can change it to an application. So that is the second option that we have. And apart from this, we also have some of the older options. Let me just open that. 
We've got enable game booster GPU settings. You can change the GPU settings applied to games through game booster. Let me open this. When I enable this, you can change the GPU settings applied to a game through customization for individual games in game booster. Let me open the game booster settings here. Let's go to the settings and tap on game booster. This is the game booster settings here on the settings. And here, let's go to customization for individual games. And let me open a game here. And this is where you will see GPU settings. We have got a texture filter, pre-transform option, multi-sample anti-aliasing option. So these are some additional options which will get enabled once you turn on this option on the uh, Game Booster Plus. And then we also have game controller key remapping. You can remap the keys of the game controller to other desired keys. If you're using any paired joysticks, then you will be able to use this particular feature to remap the keys. Now, these are some additional options that we get uh, if we install Game Booster Plus. Basically, it's going to enhance your gaming experience. And now we have got these uh, additional options. Aim Assist, which will show a reticle on the game screen, which might be useful for some of you guys who play games out there. Let me know what you think. Will this be useful for you? Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.